Good morning, everyone. My name is Jay. And I'm Christina. Today, it's a lazy Sunday、uh, workout. You know, one of those days when you probably go potty on Saturday or did a little bit、uh, extra time, go to bed like midnight. What time did we go to bed last night? 11.、Midnight. Oh, 11. <laughs> wow, I used to go at 3, 4 o'clock in the morning, <laughs> but we get older and、uh, 11, it sounds like 3, 4 o'clock in the morning. And of course, we get a little bit. Drink and it's feel a little bit buzzed, but we still want to do at least like stretches, little like you know, warm up,、uh, just get this body going and enjoy our Sunday. So, today we're going to show you a little kind of imitation of workout and stretches at the same time. I hope you will enjoy it. And、uh, don't forget to join our Patreon class when we do live streaming and video for you. Christina d o a weight loss program, fitness. Uh, car reading and、uh, more connection to your body. I do more, you know, correction exercise and just make you feel better and pain free,、uh, leave, pain free living this, this way. Do you want to add something?、Mm, the only other thing is just today is more like an active recovery day, kind of what I like. People to do if they're working out five or six days a week. I like one of the days to be like a lighter, a lighter workout day. So that's what today、yeah. is. If you're still hangover, that's, that's definitely for you. It's not going to push too hard and、mm-hmm. you're going to feel better. It's a, you know, it's a better than take another drink in the morning and like, you know, get this buzz things away, but you're still going to wake up tomorrow on Monday. All right, so here we go. Our first exercise, we're gonna just do aware,、uh, awareness breath, and it's called 360. All we do here, just try to focus on this area, on the core, and breathe forward with the belly, with all our muscles. We activate our breath muscle, like you know, diaphragm, abdominal area, hip flexors. So the first move, it's inhale through your nose, and you push a little bit forward, everything like belly. And when you exhale, You push your stomach in and apply a little bit pressure with your hands. So, hands is gonna help you. And go ahead, close your eyes. Slowly. You might feel a little bit temperatures go up. If you feel it's too much, just stop, rest a little bit. Let's do around 20 30 breaths very slowly. We don't need to bend, just our body. Couple more. Don't rush yourself. Now, slightly your hands on the side of your body and just breathe to the side, to left and right. Just push this muscle to the side. Feel them. Breathing, try to keep your posture straight, pull yourself up, don't try to round it. Breathe through your nose. And let it go. The next one, we're gonna balance our brain because if we drink alcohol, you know, it's gonna be a little bit、uh, messed up up there. Not messed up, it's、uh, change, change your、uh, 
I don't know, structure thinking, breathe thinking. So alcohol is, yeah, one of those, you know, substances you need to, I'm not sure what I'm going with this. (laughs) (laughs) It's, you know what I mean, you know. So we need to do balancing our left and right side of our brain. We're going to use the pinky for our left nostril and big thumb for our right nostril. You place your pinky on your left and inhale through your right. Now, big big time, I'm going to lock the right one, and you exhale through the left. Now, you're going to inhale through the left, and exhale, lock and exhale through the right. Inhale through the right. Lock and exhale through the left. The idea we exhale always through the different nostrils, so to the other one. So you're not gonna miss that. Inhale, lock, and exhale through the right. Inhale. And go ahead, be on your own. couple more really good lower your arms down go ahead and just to seal a little bit still don't try to move See how you feel. What's your body telling you? Get connection back. We always disconnect when we use some substances like alcohol, drugs. <laughs> yes, we do. Head. We're just gonna go a little bit activate our neck muscle. Let's see if any pain simple motion just turn We never do side bending. I see a lot of people do side bending. All we do just rotation Really good Great lazy Sunday. It's raining outside in Los Angeles right now. Beautiful weather. I love that weather We need water, right? Mm-hmm now we're gonna go up and down flex and extend try to look all the way up try to pull your chest up too we do a couple let's do five six time free motion and i will tell you in a minute what we're going to do next couple more now you're gonna place your hands on this pack muscle and gonna stretch all this pull that fascia in the front of you. All our body covered the fascia. And your brain, your mind, is feel where it needs to be tense this fascia because we do specific motion in our life and your brain build that postural for you. So if you're sitting at the computer all day long, you're gonna be become this. So that fascia is always stuck up here in the neck. So we're gonna stretch this out, pull this up, feel this good sensation. Really great. Excellent, open up and release. Next one, our shoulder, my favorite one, shrugging shoulders. You pull towards your ear on inhale and you drop it down, just like that.
feels great. I'm already feel heat in my body. Couple more. And the last one, you pull everything up, squeeze, activate all your glutes muscle, your back muscle, your chest, pull everything up, 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 pull, pull, and slowly, slowly release that shoulder. Great. The next one I call this uh, Pinocchio. One hand is behind your head and one with palms open up. Uh, towards the wall all you do from this position you're gonna switch this arm without bending your body down so a lot of people start bending and also see how smooth you are I mean some people start toward the head or like re readjust the elbow position let's just see how smooth you can do that without any problems yes you feel like I feel the little click in my shoulder mm -hmm. yeah that's me and your have have some restrictions right now there we go. Try to pull your chest more up, and guess what? That click is almost go away. There we go. Yeah, I still hear it. <laughs> there we go. Yeah. We're gonna get rid of this. If I squeeze my shoulders blades more, it's go away. Perfect. Great. The next one is shoulder rotation. All you do, just place your hands parallel to the ground with palms your way direction and all you do just start do small circle don't worry you're not gonna hit me there we go very small motion make sure you feel that chest you feel that shoulder blades you squeeze your shoulder blades behind yes very great motion and you can increase a little bit circle a little bit more feels great and now backward backward yeah feels great open this up feels great yeah shoulder feel good I feel all this muscle activation like I said lazy day now this area thoracic we've been sitting all day now we need to open this up place your both hands on your knee and push this chest forward and exhale around like a cat pull the chest in and the belly in don't bow your head make sure your head is stay still you look forward yes you don't look up i see a lot of people doing this you don't want to jam that cervical area yeah pull this area is great for the girls this exercise really pull that chest forward Great, 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 great. Couple more. Excellent. And the last one, you pull everything forward. Pull forward. Squeeze everything. Squeeze, squeeze your glutes. Squeeze your shoulder blades. Pull as much as possible this shoulder blades together. Open, open this chest. Oh wow, and I feel a little pop in my thoracic area that feel amazing. Something been adjusted. The next one, we're gonna do a little rotation. Arms right here, uh, just just your, a little bit above your belly and between your chest. And all you do, just start turning left and right. Simple and easy, right? It's like a senior workout, but trust me, if you get dehydrated yourself, it's best time, to, like best things to do in the morning. Okay, chicken noodle soup, maybe some fruit and little stretches, a little bit muscle activation, your blood, drink a lot of water and you should be just fine. But the optimal solution, don't drink, <laughs> which is hard. <laughs> turn 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 and release let's open our side muscles our hands is going up we don't look up a lot of people start looking up we don't want to jam that cervical now place your hands on the side walk a little bit further and lean to the side look up turn up and look up good just stay here and breathe and each breath you can lean more and more and more
good return to the neutral position hands up again left hands on the side walk a little bit further lean to this left side and look up breathe great pull 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 return and the next one we're gonna place our right hand behind our back and turn to the side here we go Ooh. pop for me yes <laughs> don't try to turn your lumbar area because it's not supposed to be a lot of motion up here especially for the older folks we don't want to mobilize our lumbar uh-huh keep breathing you see Christina she placed this hands she creates more uh, rotation force this is only for the thoracic lumbar need to be stable go ahead and switch side left hands coming on the back look through this side breathe I feel that pulling sensation we all those get those kinetic line the side positioning lines of the body this is great to activate all this look through the left and return to the midline and now we're gonna go lay down on our stomach we're gonna start doing stomach ex um, exercise with our stomach I mean the stomach position <laughs> the first one is called crocodile breath place your both hands under your forehead lay down face down and all you need to do just breathe with your belly up like push your belly up it's great exercise release that lower back stiffness and when you exhale pull your stomach in here we go I feel a little adjustment great for the chronic lower back pain keep breathing up push your stomach activate all your hip flexors abdominal area exhale pull your stomach in Great, keep pushing up and belly in. Now we're going to slide our hands on the side of our body. Right in here, our head is looking down. I can't do it because the microphone. Now you slowly start raising your head up. Try to look up. Now thoracic area and lumbar. Your hips is always on the floor. If you feel tension, pain, just feel where is no pain. Right here, right here, right here. All we teach our spine is flex and extend right now. It's feel great. Keep going. It's a cobra position in yoga up and down up and down whatever you feel whatever speed you want to go i want to go a little bit slowly today it's a sunday extend and down good and every exercise we're going to do we're going to do just only 10 times 10 times each side good excellent the next one we're gonna pull ourselves up up now you're gonna push yourself up and bend your knee to this tabletop now your arms come close to you this is the position and all you do spread your knees and go to the child pose drop your butt down and all the way your head is on the floor my microphone not allow me to do that now from this position you just breathe turn your palm the thumbs up just like that thumbs up and all you're gonna do just slowly raise those thumbs up one by one left and right left and right your forehead is always touch the floor it's really hard I know just slowly if you can just imagine you doing that push this up activate those muscles great 
Great, great, great. Couple more. Now push yourself again in tabletop position. And lower your back down on the floor. Great. Now your, now your arms forward in front of you. And all you do, just shake this leg up and down like you're swimming. The whole legs. A lot of people just do the lower portion of the legs. No, the whole thing. Raise your hips up. Raise your torso. And a little bit swim. Now, add your arms and do the swimmer. Up and down. Swim. Activate this lower back glutes. We're going to be here, I don't know. 20 seconds, let's say this way. It's good. It's for lazy Friday. I mean Sunday. <laughs> <laughs> Starting the weekend all over again. Yeah. <laughs> I want to go back. <laughs> Tomorrow is Monday. Keep going. And release, release that stance. Again, push your arms close to yourself like you're pushing yourself. Push yourself to the tabletop position again and go to the child pose again. Feel that stretch. It feels great. Mm -hmm. Now we're going to work on our lower body on the lay down position. Again, couple breath. Good. Now shift it back again to the uh, tabletop and lower yourself down. Mm -hmm. Next one, we're gonna, it's called Scorpion. All you're gonna do, let me show you, uh, let me show you this way. So my right arm is going on the side, like this way. And all I do, I just try to step with my foot behind my right leg, just like that. Can you do, can you do the other side? Yes. Switch, here we go. And see what she's doing? I will prefer she keep the head on the floor all the time. Okay, hold on. There we go. <laughs> there we go. Yep. And try to place right behind that knee. So you you kind of do a little twist. It's really Here? gently. Yeah, it's pretty good. Mm -hmm. so, so my it's like this. staying the opposite way? Mm-hmm. You can switch it. There we go. Let's just show different... You see what I'm doing? My head is always on the floor. I move through my hips, through my glutes. I feel all this sensation right in here, and it's great. Switch side, now you do opposite one. Let me make sure I'm not gonna step on Christina. Here we go. <laughs> the microphone is not helping me. All right, just like that. Great. My head's not on the floor as good on this side because of the microphone, but yeah. you guys get the point. No, you probably got stiffness in your neck, that's No, why. I can't lay down. All right, I know, we're just joking. Here we go, a <laughs> couple more. Return to this neutral position. The next one, again, our arms get close to our, too close to our torso. It's like a push-ups, but you bend your knee and push yourself up to this tabletop position. And we're gonna start do cat and cow. So cat and cow, inhale, your body try to look up, drop your belly like a cow, everything is hanging up here under your body. Try to connect your butt to your head, look up, and exhale round like a cat, and pull your stomach in. Inhale, up, exhale, round, up, already couple more always slow because you know the alcohol still in your blood so just be careful to gentle to yourself the next one it's going to be thoracic mobility. We want to open this chest. This is really simple exercise. You place your hand behind your head and all you do from this position, you just twist and try to touch the upper side knee. 
inhale up exhale down don't try to shift your hips always try to stay in the same position a lot of people try to lift uh, move the hips to the side it's not accurate great finish one and switch side exhale inhale great return to the neutral position uh, now what we're going to do we're gonna kick that door it's called kick the door just imagine you have a door behind you and you kick it with your hip so you just kind of hit kick let me show go ahead show him uh -huh. so kick hold and all she do rotate it back and kick again rotate and kick it back mm -hmm. we're working on that hip mobility that hip stiffness rotate and kick rotate and kick make sure you don't shift your body mm -hmm. uh-huh you see I'm trying to there we go she's balanced you see how hard it's going now because when you shift the body everything shifted but only if you work through the hips great good switch side excellent couple more very good and release the stance now spread your fingers wide we're gonna go to our favorite uh, down face dog this is how you go step back with your right foot push yourself up a little bit like a sprinting ex uh, sprinting try to sprint step back with your left and go ahead walk your dog micro bending is absolutely okay just up and down your heel spread your fingers wide hold your body feels great try to pull that chest close to your knees feel a little stiff in my left side now I'm raise my leg up shift my body forward and hold it up here and go back it's like that down face dog lounges like I said let's do 10 times each side don't push yourself hard if you feel need five do five feels great two more and we're gonna switch side Great, place your right down, left is coming up, shift it forward. Five more. One, two, three, four. The last one there we go that's all good drop your knee down to that child pose not the child pose the tabletop rest a little bit feels great the next one is flying Superman or tabletop plank in this position you're gonna raise your left arm and right leg mm -hmm. opposite one make sure we don't yeah round it here you spread the weight between your legs, your, your knee and arm equally, so you feel com completely comfortable. From this position, all you do, just touch your elbow and knee under, and extend. Wrist pain? No. Good. Extend, hold your core. Great exercise couple more and switch side 
Right leg, left arm, hold this position. And go ahead, touch and extend. And a few more. And return to the neutral position, return to the tabletop. Next one, it's another one. It's called bear crawl. We're going to activate our core, a little bit hamstring and glutes. All you need to do when you're standing in this position, you just push yourself up with your knee and raise yourself up. You see my knee is in the air. Mm -hmm. My back is flat. It's not rounded. This is how bear walk. Now what we're going to do, we're just going to switch our position. Yeah, she's yeah. growing. Yeah, she's you can stay in one spot just to switch stance. Mm -hmm. All you do, watch. You just oh, lift like it up. That. You don't need to walk. Yeah, if you want to walk, if you have enough space. I'm used to it. <laughs> yeah, there we go. It's really head is neutral. You never look up. Yeah. Perfect. Couple more. And return to the neutral position. Great. Neutral position, step back with your right, push yourself to down face dog, walk your dog again, raise your right foot up, step forward, drop your knee, and you see, we extend this leg. We're not trying to stretch our quadriceps, all we do, let me go this way, no, 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 you're good. I push this knee to the side, push this knee to the side, uh-huh. And if you want to more, try to get this back uh, like a little, a little forward. Uh -huh. Let me show you. So, and I push. And if you want more, you drop ah. your elbow in front. Okay. Now, if I use my right leg, I use my right arm, the same side, same arm. You turn up and look up and breathe up here. Do nice deep breath. Perfect. Uh huh really good more twist there we go and after you go back to this position drop your arms down look down step back to the plank and hold your plank hold your plank this time we're gonna start touching our shoulders this is more advanced exercise if you guys feel you need a break or you want to skip that one skip that one all you need to do you hold and start touching your shoulders also you can take your feet further apart if it's too hard yeah it's and just make too it hard. a little bit easier correct on you so you're not you see I'm st I like to stay low and touch it my legs is close to each other mine are like medium length apart good touch couple more now push yourself to down face dog walk your dog again it's time to do left side. Raise the leg up. Step forward with your leg. Drop your right down. Push this left knee to the side. Feels great. Right in there. Drop your elbow if you need. Stay. Feel that pulling. Always breathe. Restore your breath. Get some water if you need. We're almost there. I'm already feel great. I don't need another extra uh alcohol in the morning I'm great. <laughs> no i used to yeah wake up and i'm just get my beer or extra shot of vodka and oh my gosh i know but it's feel good because you poison so you poison yourself again <laughs> and it's sometimes go for 26 days Ooh. i know my record 26 days drink every day not a more, no more. This is not what we want. To <laughs> I know, do. no more. <laughs> Trust me, we will talk about this in our podcast. But yeah, push forward. <laughs> Left arm coming up. Look up. Breathe. I want to feel my body. I know we all want to party. We want to have good time. But we know that next day you're going to die. You feel like crap. You feel like crap. So this is what we do it now we still have our fun look down now step back again to the plank hold your plank this time we're gonna raise our legs make sure 
you don't feel any lower back pain or, S, or SI joint. It's gonna be put to too much pressure. Now we're gonna do raise our legs up, just like that, very slowly. Mm -hmm. Keep your body a little bit low. Here we go, right there. Feels great. And when you're done, push yourself again, down face dog. Walk your dog again. Oh, that feel great. Now lower your knee down and flip yourself on your back. Flip yourself on your back. We're gonna do a couple more exercise here and we should be done. We already warm up. We can truly stretch our uh, glutes muscle, glutes medius side. And uh, let's see how you feel. Legs is here, all you do, place this knee on the top of the upper side knee, so right on the top of the left. And all you do, just push this to the side and breathe. Now this foot is dropped down towards the floor. My right arm is here. I'm looking to the opposite side. Yes, I'm look to the right. I grab this uh, right knee and I push towards the floor very gently and I breathe. Which every exhale, I go a little bit lower and lower, but no pain. Breathe through your chest. Great. Return to the neutral position and switch legs. Now left foot coming on, on the top of the right knee. And all I do, my left arm looking to the left. And I'm also turn my head to the left. Drop my foot on the right. I'm going to be all right. I'm not mm -hmm. going to step on it. No, you're good. And pull this really stiff. and return to the neutral position. This feel great. Uh, what I'm seeing myself, when you do, do those sugary drinks, cocktails, uh, your body next day very stiff. Why? Because I believe sugar is really affect your mobility and your fascia. So you, you're more not stretchable, you're less stretchable when you do a lot of sugar. And those cocktails, ooh, damn, they My a lot of sugar. My joints hurt too. Yeah. Like I noticed that I, if I'm running or something, my knees and everything hurt if I have too much sugar. Inflammation, exactly. Yep. They mm -hmm. create inflammation in your joints. So what we're doing here, we don't do put too much pressure. I know a lot of people go to the gym and they start doing those heavy weights exercise. I highly recommend lubricate all this, pull your fascia, activate your body and have to go heavy, especially after you, like, you drink. Now the bridge, put your heels close to your butt arms up and all you do just push your butt up and squeeze your glutes squeeze your glutes up and down squeeze and activate you can do single leg but let's just be with both both legs single you just raise one up and you go this way but not necessary today right now we can do this on monday <laughs> push your squeeze and squeeze up let's do 20 times this is double always do double of this glutes need to be stronger really great now a couple more and let it go the next one the heels is still here you place your both arm on that on that knee and all you do you just raise yourself up and push this arm 
towards that knee. So you push and you raise yourself up. You don't need to raise up when I do crunches. Just activate that core hip flexors. Good. Great, the next one, cross pattern. So cross pattern, we activate our cross muscle. You place your left one on the right, the, le the right behind you, left arm on the right knee, and all you do, just raise yourself towards that opposite side. You're gonna feel one muscle more than other. Slowly go down. I'm already feel heat in my stomach. That's mean my abdominal area being active. Everything fire up. Everything ready to go. Switch side, the left arm come behind my head. Right arm on the left knee and I do the same thing to this side. And you're gonna be surprised. It's really hard for me to do this side. Feels good. couple more and let it go the next one we're gonna work on our core you're gonna grab your knee pull towards your body and start roll yourself up and down very gently make sure you don't experience pain in your spine and when you're ready it feel great pull yourself up let me let me sit this way direction so we can see our here we go next one is the scissors we're gonna do two rounds the first round is gonna be up and down and the next one is gonna be cross only we're gonna do 20 seconds here we go you can do in three position you can lay down on your back just raise your leg and do you can hold your arm behind your back this way or you can hold your arms in front of you yeah yeah, this is the best one probably. Here we go, up and down. 20 seconds. Breathe. Activate your core. That's feel great. And release, rest a little bit. Pull yourself up. Five seconds rest. We're gonna do cross one and we're almost there. We're gonna finish with our breath, a little pulling. And I hope you guys feel better after this. You can do your stuff on your Sunday and you're ready for the Monday. <laughs> there we go. All right, let's get back and now cross legs. 20 seconds. There we go. fast you can go slow I'm already feel great <laughs> 10 seconds easy five seconds and release stance very great feel absolutely amazing next one spread your legs in a v-shape just like that uh-huh let me turn this way so you don't need to go wide and crazy. And all you do, if you have lower back pain, skip this one. Inhale up and exhale down to the left. Mm -hmm. Exhale up, exhale to the right. Up and down. I am definitely feel stiff today after those Margaritas. Oh, that was a Bahama mama. I don't know what you had. <laughs> I had margaritas. Skinny margaritas, oh, by the yeah, way. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh my god. That doesn't necessarily make it better. I'm but... old. <laughs> Couple more. Oh. Now we're not saying we're pro like drink, 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 eat bad. <laughs> it's about balance. We know you're not gonna be yes. perfect every day sometimes you want to enjoy yourself at a party yeah. or an event 
It's all about balance and moderation. Yeah, you know, when, when I was young, it's just like party, 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 don't care. You, you, you don't need to rehab, you don't need to recover. Because you're young, you get up and you go. Now, after I'm 47 now, it feels so bad. And trust me, I've been practicing drink alcohol a lot. <laughs> I'm, no, I, I'm alcoholic, right? I was. You're not now, now. I just want to still enjoy my life. I can't cut it off. I'm trying to cut it off so many times. Like, I'm going to stop drinking. That's it. It's my last drink. And, of course, you go to those parties and people hang out and somehow you break you know you just you break you take that cocktail you think you're okay and it's it's a it's absolutely okay you don't need to blame yourself maybe one day you decide to never drink again and it's a good stuff i mean it's really strong and powerful but if you kind of limit it yourself you will always gonna break down you know we this limit is gonna pile up pile up on you and you just one day you're gonna drink again and do you use the drugs and all that stuff so for me, I decide I'm not doing drugs in my life anymore, and I do this, don't do this for a long time. I believe that workout and breath work is more drug for me than everything. And But alcohol is still present in my life. I hope I'm going to cut it off soon. I'm, I'm getting there. So I hope you guys enjoy this uh, kind of little stretches warm up for your hangover. And... Uh, yeah, just take care of yourself. Always watch your heart. How's your heart react? If your heart beat hot, like strong and you feel that fever and sweat a lot, yeah, just, you know, stop, drink a lot of water. Chicken noodle soup is best. Uh, yeah, all, you know, you all know your remedies. But thank you for watching us. I hope you guys doing going to be doing okay after this workout. And we'll see you next time. Do you have anything to add? Uh, no, just that it's, I, I'm not saying don't ever enjoy yourself or have fun. It's all about balance. Um, I mean, if you're an alcoholic, you may want to get some help for that. But like me, I know I just feel like crap when I drink, even if it's just a couple, because I live a fairly healthy lifestyle all the time. So it just doesn't make me feel great. So I don't do it very often. Um, the healthier you get, the the more when you put bad things in your body, you don't feel good. So it's just a matter of picking and choosing if you want to do it or not. And and just taking good care of yourself and, and having a balanced life. That's it. Yeah, simple, simple uh, awareness. Because like I said, when you're aware, you don't want to do anything bad to yourself. Yes. And to others. That's the key. Yes. If you love yourself truly, you're not going to do some bad to other people if you still hate yourself um you know the world is all all negative stuff around you especially right now you, you're gonna do the same to other people so yep yeah keep balance and we'll see you guys around join our patreon have a channel. great day bye bye bye